Hi guys, my name is Bappi Hamed and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, we'll be implementing one amazing project called Automatic Traffic Safety. So this is going to be one computer vision related project. So here we'll be performing something called object detection. So let me tell you about the project, what we are gonna develop here. See, I think you already know in some of the country, they use automatic traffic management system. That means what happens actually, uh, beside the roads, they will be uh, attaching actually lots of CCTV camera. And that CCTV camera will uh, actually keep on tracking, let's say, uh, road activity. That means that means whether a person is wearing helmet or not during riding the bikes. Okay. If they're not wearing, so what this system will do, it will automatically extract the, uh, let's say, license plate number. That, that means the license plate information. And based on that, actually, they will uh, find the money, okay, uh, to that rider. So this kinds of system, actually, most, most of the countries uh, use nowadays. So here we'll be implementing uh, similar kinds of, actually, system. So here we'll be implementing uh, similar kinds of system. That means uh, what I will do here, I will use some real-time custom data. With that, I'll be training one, uh, let's say, uh, object detection model. And that model will be able to uh, detect whether any person is wearing helmet or not during riding the bike. Even it will also, uh, let, let's say, detect what kinds of, let's say, vehicle they are riding, whether it's, a, let's say, bikes, whether it's a car. Okay, so this kinds of actually vehicle, uh, also it will try to detect. Even it will also try to detect the license plate. Got it. So this is the system actually we'll be developing. So if you are completely new to this uh, computer vision field, and if you don't know about object detection, no need to worry. In my YouTube channel, I already created uh, lots of uh, content related object detection. You can uh, watch those recording. You will get the entire idea. So what we'll do, guys, uh, let me first of all show the data set uh, from where actually I'll be using the data set and how this data set looks like. So guys, if you don't have the custom data, so what you can do, you can use uh, one amazing actually uh, platform called RoboFlow Universe. So let me show you RoboFlow Universe. So this is the actually product of RoboFlow. So I think you already know about RoboFlow. RoboFlow is a computer vision uh, platform. So here you can perform all kinds of computer vision related tasks. So it is having one product called RoboFlow Universe. So RoboFlow Universe is having all kinds of computer vision related data, whether it can be object detection, classification, segmentation, key point detection. Okay, all kinds of data it is having. Now let's say you want to perform object detection and you want uh, actually data. So what you can do, you can filter out this object detection. Even you can also uh, search here. Let's say what kinds of data you need. Let's say I need, uh, I need let's say uh, helmet. Okay, anything just search here. Helmet, vehicle detection. Then you can also search about let's say. Then you can also search about road safety detection. Okay, these kinds of actually search keyword you can search. Now you'll see different different data set would be there. Okay. Now, what I will do, guys, I'll be using one data set from the RoboFlow universe. So this is the data, guys, called Helmet Computer Vision Project. Okay, this is the data name. So I'll give the link in the description from there. You can download the data. Now, if you want to use this data, guys, what you have to do, simply you need to click on the download project. And again, I'm telling you, guys, if you're using RoboFlow universe data, you don't need to annotate this other data. This data is already annotated. This is the best advantage here. Now, let's say you don't have the annotated data. So what you have to do, you have to manually annotate those data. And it is like very time-taking task. And how to perform the annotation with the help of RoboFlow platform, I already created one tutorial in my YouTube channel. You can go ahead and watch that. So guys, now if I show you the data, it is having actually three classes called helmet, license plate and motorcycle list. Okay. Now if I show you the image, so this data is already annotated as I already told you. So let's, let's open up one image here. Now you can see, uh, they have annotated the motorcycle, the entire vehicle. Even they have also annotated this helmet. Okay. Even they have also annotated this license plate. That means three kinds of level we are having in this data. Okay. And I think this is enough for me. If I want to perform this kinds of automatic traffic management system, traffic uh, let's say safety system. Now, if you want to use this data, just simply click on the download project. Now you can see one option called download data set. Okay. Now, if I click here, now it will suggest me different, different format. Now here I'll be using YOLO V5 object detection model. So I'll be selecting this YOLO V5 PyTorch. Okay. This is the format. Now, either you can download this data as a zip file, either you can download as a source code. Okay, let me show you the source code. So this is the code actually it will suggest. You just need to copy and execute from your notebook. It will automatically download the data set. So for you, what I've done guys, I have created one notebook. You can see this is the notebook I have created. So now let me connect this notebook and all the resources would be available in the resources section in the description section from there you can download and you can use it. And make sure guys you have selected runtime as a GPU. So here you can see I have selected runtime GPU. Okay. So now let me connect. So guys, as you can see, my notebook is connected. Now the first thing what you have to do guys, you have to clone the YOLO V5 repository. So this is the YOLO V5 repository. Let me show you. Uh, in my YouTube channel, I already created uh, the tutorial related YOLO V5, how we can use YOLO V5 for the object detection task. You can check it out. So you can see 
uh, this is the github of the official yolo v5 okay and with that we can perform the object detection task so simply what i will do i'll just try to clone this repository so let me clone then after that you have to install the requirements so it, it will have one requirements file let me show you so requirement.txt file it is having and inside the requirements you are having all the package okay so these are the requirements you have to install if you want to use yolo v5 now let me install all of them now see if i refresh see yolo v5 has been uh cloned now i have to install this requirements okay now for this you have to execute this cell now let me execute the cell so it will install all the requirements after that it will show you the version of some of the package okay that's it okay so execution is completed now the next thing guys what i will do i will install roboflow okay roboflow because here i'm going to use roboflow universe to get the data so for this i need to install roboflow so let me install roboflow okay fine now simply what you need to do just copy the link uh, sorry copy this code snippet and try to replace here okay now let's execute see it will automatically download the data here so see guys my data set is downloaded you can see inside uh, helmet folder training uh, testing validation okay. see all the data have been downloaded now if i show you the yaml file so here you are having three classes okay as i already told you now you can also open up the image you can also see so let me open some of the image let's say this is the image now if i show you my project working directory so i'm inside yolo v5 folder right now and if i show you my data location so this is the data location okay so make sure you are inside yolo v5 folder okay because yolo v5 folder will be my root folder and now if you want to see the data.yml file you can execute the cat command so it will show you the entire data.yml file okay what is the content inside that now i have to load this uh, data.yml file and i have to extract the number of classes i think remember it is having one nc classes okay here that means three so this thing i have to extract so for this i'll be executing this code now you'll see number of classes would be three okay now here what i have to do i have to uh, use one configuration that means model configuration so here we'll be using yolo v5s model so it is available inside yolo v5 models uh now you can see yolo v5s okay so this model actually will be using you can also use l model x model okay m model it's up to you s model means this is the smallest model okay you can also use any other model it's up to you whatever model you are using with respect to that you have to select this yaml file and it is having all the configuration related to the model okay now see i have to change this nc parameter because i'm having only three uh, number of classes but it is having 80 classes because it is a pre trained model okay it's a pre trained model on the coco data set and coco is having 80 classes okay that's why what you have to do we have to replace this number so how to replace the number so this is the content of this uh, yaml file you can see now if you want to change it you have to execute this line of code and whatever content you can see in the yaml file i just copy pasted here and only i'm just changing this nc parameter now see if i execute so it will automatically write uh, that file in the model again now see if i show you now see this is the file it has created custom uh, yellow vs.yml and now you can see nc parameter has been changed okay now we'll be using this configuration now simply you can start the training to start the training what you can do guys you can execute this command so there is a train.py file you can see let me show you inside yellow v5 folder train.py you have to execute train.py give these are the let's say parameter image size batch size number of epoch you want to train so let's say as of now i want to train 100 epoch you can also increase the epoch size as per uh, your requirement if you want to get a good model you can increase the epoch size uh, here i have given 100 because i want to show you only that's why now pass the data location so it will automatically pick up the data location okay so from the uh, data.yml file because you can see data.yml file contains the data location if i show you uh, this yaml file contains the data location okay like where your image is present you can see inside test folder image is present inside train folder image is present okay it will show you the entire uh, image location now you have to give the model configuration the configuration we have created i think remember this configuration path i am giving then i'm also giving the model name i want to use i want to use yellow v5 s.pt model this model would be automatically downloaded from the internet then uh, this should be the output folder okay that means inside that folder all the artifacts would be saved now see if i start the training if you're using yellow v5 it's very easy to use so guys as you can see my training has started my training has started it has loaded my data now see epox is running so you can see so my epox is running so what i will do i'll pause the video once uh, this training is completed i will come back 
so guys as you can see my training is completed and it has saved all the artifacts inside a runs folder inside runs folder it has created one folder let me show you so inside runs folder it has created one train folder inside that uh, the folder name i have given yellow v5s result inside that you'll see your weight okay this is going to be your weight guys now let's download this weight because i'm going to create one web application and for this i need this weight so let me download this weight make sure you're downloading base.pt okay this is your trained model now you can see it has also saved some of the artifacts like your validation loss your complete results it has saved okay now if you want to visualize them what you can do you can um, execute this line of code so see my model has downloaded now let me uh, now see it is having one result.png inside that folder i'm just rendering it let me show you so this is the complete um, like evaluation metrics actually we'll be getting see this is your losses that means as per your epoxy is increasing loss is also decreasing and this is your map score that means mean average position and uh, epoxy is increasing uh, your accuracy is all increasing that means your learning is better here okay uh, model is learning good now what i can do i can show you some batch images so these are some batch images you can see okay so these are some batch images now let me show you some augmented ground truth as well see yolo v5 uh, internally automatically it will perform the augmentation okay you can see some of the augmentation technique it has applied okay different different augmentation it has applied now if you want to test on top of your test data so simply give the test data location so this is my test data inside image i'm having all the test image i'll just copy copy the path and here i'll just try to mention source is equal to your test images path that's it now simply execute this line so there is a, another file called detect.py so inside detect.py all the code they have already written like how it will load the model how it will detect everything they have written okay all you just need to execute and make sure you are giving your model location you can see this is my model location base.pt now if i execute it will uh, perform detection on top of all the images and it will save the results okay in the runs folder again so let me show you okay done now if i open the detect folder experiment inside that you will see all the results have been saved and this is the detection guys okay see that's how we are getting the detection helmet motorcycle as well as the license plate amazing guys although i trained only 100 epoch but detection is pretty good now what i can do i can also show you the detection with the help of this uh, code it will uh, automatically take all the image and it will render okay on the collab notebook so see this is my rendered results okay now what i will do guys i'll just try to uh, create one web application that means user will upload one image and they will get the detection and i will also tell you how you can open up your web camera that means let's see if you want to detect as a live live camera you can also do it so for this what you have to do you have to clone one repository so this is the repository guys i'll give this link repository link in the uh, resources section even i will also add in the notebook let me add it here so here i think i add i can add okay this is the repository mm. I'll add in a text okay so this is the repository okay so make sure you are cloning the repository so let me clone the repository I'll copy the link open the folder and let me clone here so git clone my repository link so guys you can see cloning is completed now I'll go inside the folder I'll just write cd that means change directory uh, yolo v5 app okay now I'm inside this folder now let me open up this one now see here just try to remove this yellow v5 folder okay because i'm not i'm going to clone newly because this is my old one now i have to clone newly so what you have to do you have to i think remember so there is there is one link actually there is one command actually i, I had written so copy the command and just try to execute from the terminal okay completed now let me open up my vs code here now inside yolo v5 folder you have to move your model the model actually you have downloaded so let me move it i'll just cut it from here and i will keep it here okay this is my model hmm. now let me show you so i already created the template that means the web oh, web template so here i'm using flask for this you can see i'm using flask okay flask with the help of flask actually i have created this template now just open the app.py file so here i have already written all the route so only you just need to change uh, here the model i think model name is fine base.pt okay no need to change anything everything is fine uh huh, everything is fine so what i will do uh, i'll open the template file index file okay inside that i'm going to change the project title 
so guys as you can see this is the project title now here i'm going to change the project title or i can write automatic traffic safety so yeah everything is fine now simply what i will do i will re install the requirements see all the uh, requirements you have to install so for this open up your terminal and first of all you have to create one environment so to create the environment just write this command conda create ipn in give the name of the environment let's say i will give traffic you can give any name then python is equal to let's take 3.10 ipn y now let's execute see it will create the virtual environment after that we'll be installing the requirements so environment is created now let's activate this is the command to activate the environment now i'm going to install the requirements so just write pip install ipn at requirement.txt so let's wait once installation is complete i will come back so guys as you can see installation is completed but i will uh, tell you one best practice actually you can perform see here we have newly uh, cloned this yolo v5 repository now so inside that see inside yolo v5 let me show you inside yolo v5 you have another requirement.txt file okay just try to open it up and whatever package actually you can see here just try to copy okay try to copy all the packages and open up my requirement.txt the so the app actually you have cloned from my repository see this is the requirements now what you have to do uh, see from here uh, from base actually just try to select everything and uh, delete and try to mention here okay that's it now let me save and let me again install the requirements because this is the old uh, i mean uh, requirement i was using uh, some of the error actually you might get that's why i'm installing the new one okay that's the thing okay so execution is completed now let's uh, launch our application so let me launch our application guys so i'll just write python app.py now let's give the allow permission then i will open up my browser and search for localhost 8080 okay now you can see this is the uh, front end of our application now here you can upload the image so let's upload one traffic image mm -hmm. and click on the predict button you'll see that you will get the detection after some times so here i'm getting one error guys called proxy path on your system so guys uh, if you're facing that error what you have to do in the detect.py let me show you in the detect.py you have to add this code snippet okay if you're getting that proxy uh, path issue you have to add this code snippet after that just try to save and now let's execute our application so now i'll come back now see it's running now let's upload the image and do the prediction okay now see guys here i got the directions it is detecting the motorcycle helmet as well as the license plate okay and now if you want to open the live camera what you have to do just give slash live here okay slash live here and press enter uh, it will automatically open up your live camera okay uh, so all the functionality i've already written in the code let me show you in the app.py so here i've given another route called slash live so it will open up your live camera you can see source is equal to zero i have given okay so as of now i'm not going to open up my camera but if you want to open up your camera you can do it okay and the complete code actually i will share with you you can execute the same code as it is okay so yes guys that's how actually we can perform this automatic traffic safety detection now what you can do you can improve this project the license plate you are detecting uh you can extract the information and how to extract the information so for this i already created one video on my youtube channel let me show you so automatic uh, uh, license plate recognition okay so here i already showed you how we can apply the ocr technique okay with that we can extract the information so you can try by yourself uh, you will be able to do it and if you like my content guys try to subscribe to my channel with that guys thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time